In order to adjust or remove frequencies within Adobe Audition, first we need to identify the problematic frequencies. Click on the Show Spectral Frequency Display button on the toolbar above the Wave Editor window. Adjust the display to your preferred size by dragging the center bar. Now that we have a visual representation of the frequency range, we can find the frequencies that we need to control. In this case, we want to remove these unwanted telephone rings in the background. And you get that emotional bond with people. Identify the phone ring frequency, then grab the paintbrush tool from the upper toolbar. Zoom in on the area that needs correction by right-clicking and dragging on the time bar. Now, hover over the area you wish to correct with the paintbrush circle and adjust it to the correct size using the bracket buttons on your keyboard. Hold down the left mouse button and paint over the area you wish to remove. You can make additional selections by holding down the shift button while painting. Once you have made all of your selections, simply press the delete button on your keyboard to remove the frequencies. And you get that emotion. To remove clicks and pops from audio, we will use the spot healing brush. In this audio file, we hear the cracking and popping of a campfire in the background. And again, service. It's a reminder that we. Begin by clicking on the show spectral frequency display button in the top toolbar and adjust to your preferred height. Zoom into the area you wish to work with by right clicking and dragging on the time bar. Identify the pops visually in the spectrum. And again, service. Select the spot healing brush from the toolbar and hover over the area to be healed. Adjust the brush size by pressing the bracket buttons on your keyboard. Next, start at the top of the pop and paint your way down to the bottom by holding down the left mouse button and drawing along the length of the noise. The sound will be removed once you let go of the mouse button. Clean up any missed areas and the pop will be completely removed from the track. And again. Repeat this process as necessary until all clicks and pops are gone and from the audio. Service. It's a reminder that we choose the direction. Background noise can be removed from an audio file by using the Denoise FX processor. Click on the Show Spectral Frequency Display button and adjust the display to your preferred size. Zoom into the file by pressing the equal sign on your keyboard. You can see and hear the noise at the beginning of the file here very clearly. Go to the Effects menu and then down to the Noise Reduction Restoration option, then select Denoise. You can move the effect window to a convenient location to match your workflow. Set the preset to default and move your noise amount slider down to zero. This will allow all audio to pass through without removing any noise at all at this point. Select an area of noise from the audio file in the frequency spectral window. Make sure you have the loop function selected. Play back the noise and adjust the noise amount slider until the noise has been sufficiently reduced. You can hear the removed portion by selecting Output Noise Only and playing back the file. Choose the best processing focus that best matches your audio file and then click Apply. You will see and hear how easily the file is cleaned up. For more advanced noise reduction, use the Noise Reduction effect. Click on the Show Spectral Frequency Display button and adjust to your preferred height. We can see in this file where the voice frequencies are and where the noise is. Select a sample that contains only the room noise. Make sure Loop is selected and play back the file to ensure there are no other sounds included in your selection. Go to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, then Noise Reduction Process. Keep the effect on default and capture a noise print of the selection that you highlighted. The visual frequency display will show the range of high to low frequency and amplitude of soft to loud. The noise floor threshold is shown in green and all sounds under the threshold will be reduced while all sounds above it will stay as they are. Start by moving the noise reduction slider to 100%. Next, move the reduced by slider to 1 decibel. Slowly, move the slider to the right until you no longer hear any noise. Repeat the process with the noise reduction slider. In the Advanced section, set the precision factor to 32. Test the audio, and if satisfied, click on Apply. They hire. All clean. Reducing reverb can be done by using the D-reverb effect. Start by going to the Effects rack and click on the right-facing arrow. Select Noise Reduction Restoration, and then D-reverb. Move the window to match your workflow. Keep the effect on default and move the reverb amount slider to zero. Play back the audio and slowly move the slider to the right until you can hear significant reduction without affecting the voice too heavily. And I think it, it does start at the top. It, it's, it's that networking piece because when you network with the executives at the top, they're the ones that are going to be the key influential um, stakeholders. And Make sure you have the auto gain turned on to keep the level constant. Experiment with the processing focus until you are satisfied with the final result. Decision makers for those organizations. So if we can start at the top, bring those top leaderships into Project Relo so that they can have, they can collaborate together with some of the veterans that are going to be here. Uh, together, they're going to be able to see these are the type of, these are the type of leaders that I want in my organization.
Another way to remove a specific sound is with the sound remover effect. Click on the Show Spectral Frequency Display button and adjust the display to your preferred size. In this file, we want to remove these unwanted telephone rings in the background. And you get that emotional bond with people. Identify the phone ring frequency, then find an area where only that noise is present. Zoom in on the area that needs correction by right-clicking and dragging on the time bar. Grab the paintbrush tool from the upper toolbar and hover over the area you wish to correct with the paintbrush circle, adjusting it to the correct size using the bracket buttons on your keyboard. Hold down the left mouse button and paint over the area you wish to edit, being careful not to paint over the voice. Adjust the brush size and make additional selections by holding down the shift button while painting. Select the loop button and confirm that you have selected just the phone. Go to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, then Sound Remover Process. A preview editor window will appear under the original file. Click on Learn Sound Model and make sure it is set to default. Play back to confirm its effectiveness. And you get that emotional bond with people and you really see this stuff firsthand. To repair clipped audio, we can use a tool called the Declipper. To access the Declipper, go to Effects, Diagnostics, Declipper. This will open the diagnostic repair box on the left side of the work area. Play back the audio and listen to the heavy clipping that is occurring on this file. Hiring military veterans is a great business decision. Go to the diagnostic box and set the preset to default, and then click on the scan button to determine how many clipped peaks are contained within the file. We can see the total amount here. Go into your settings and look at your available options. For this file, due to the heavy clipping, we will choose FFT rather than cubic and set the size to the highest possible setting. Close settings and click repair all. Now play back the file and you're all set. Hiring military veterans is a great business decision. It is not just a good decision, it's not a good practice, and it's not for marketing reasons. It's not to say, hey, we hire veterans and we're a good company and we're socially responsible. No more clipping.